Hi there, this is Andy from Totally Forex and today we will do an in-depth review on IC Markets Forex Broker. To begin, please click the link below the video on the description which will direct you to IC Markets main page. IC Markets currently runs an offer and using the following link will get you lower commission per lot, so we totally advise you to use it. Once there, click the green button in the top mid of your screen, start trading and that will redirect you to open a live account screen. There you have options to sign up with Facebook or Google if you have accounts there and you wish to do so. Otherwise, to begin, choose the country of your residence. Usually this is automatically populated, but just in case, check it. Additionally, enter your first name, last name, email and phone number and click next. On the next screen, you will have to choose your account type. Your options are individual, joint or corporate. Select the one that most applies to your needs. For the purpose of this video, we will select individual. Please enter your date of birth, address, city, state or providence if that applies and zip code. This is a dummy account, so the info I used here are not real. Please enter your real info if you intend to use the account to trade. On step number three, you will have to select the trading platform, an account type and an account based currency. You can choose CTrader, MT5 or MT4. The main difference between the MT5 and MT4 is that MT4 was specifically built for Forex traders, where MT5 was designed to provide traders with access to CFDs, stocks and futures. The other option you have is the CT Trader, but if you choose that one, keep in mind that only one type of account is available and that is the row spread account. So based on your need, choose the one that suits you the most. For the purpose of this video, I will choose the MT5. Note here that once you create an account for either platform, you cannot use the same login details to log into the other platform. So if you decide to switch platform and create an MT4, you will need to create a new account for that platform. To continue, when it comes to accounts with MT5 and MT4, you have two options, the standard or row spread. The row spread or true ECN account has variable spreads from zero pips with a small $3.5 commission fee. While the standard account does not charge a commission but variable spreads that starts from one pip. Once more, choose the one that best suits your needs, but for the purpose of this video I will choose standard account. Select your account based currency and click next. For this step you will need to fill out a questionnaire. Set up a security question and acknowledge that you are not able to create an account on RC markets. It is important to note here that to head back to your email, as within a few seconds you shall receive a welcome email from IC Markets. Unlike other brokers, they will provide you with new password to use to log into your dashboard. So go to the email, copy the password and click Secure Client Area and the link will redirect you back to IC Markets. If it logs you out, you will need that password to log in. If not, you can continue the process. And here, as you can see, it didn't log me out, so I can continue the process and on the next screen, uh, I'm asked to pretty much provide additional information which are typical for any broker and they have to do with employment, income, investment amount, purpose of nature of transactions, annual income and estimate net worth. Choose the ones that best apply to you and click next. Congrats! The first part of the registration to IC Markets is completed. Now let's go through the process to verify the account. As you can see on the screen, you will have to upload a photo ID and a proof of residence. The acceptable IDs are a valid passport, a valid government ID, such as driver license or state ID, and a valid national identity card. All you have to do is to choose one of them, scan it, so the info are clearly seen, then click browse and upload it. When it comes to proof of residence, you may use a utility bill, phone bill, internet bill, or bank statement with your name and address on it. Once you upload both documents, you will need to scroll all the way down and click the green button which says upload. Otherwise, your documents will not get uploaded. After that, you will see your uploaded documents below the uploaded documents tab. Your account will be verified within hours after submission. Having taken care of that, let's direct our attention to the funding options available in IC Markets. Click Deposit Funds and you will be presented with a plethora of options such as Credit or Debit Card, NetTeller, Skrill, Rapid Transfer, uh, Klama Software, Wire Transfer and Bank Transfer. Additionally, you can fund your account for a Thai and Vietnamese internet banking as well as use broker-to-broker -broker transfer. Definitely a plethora of options offered by IC Markets which put them quite ahead of the competition in this field. With that out of the way, it is time to download and log in to the MT5 trading platform. To initiate the process, click on the Downloads button on the top left of the webpage. 
As you can see, you will be presented with all the available platform options. In our case, we will download MT5 for Windows. Once the download is complete, click on the file to install it. The process is quite simple and it takes roughly a minute to complete. We cannot log in in this account because, as I mentioned earlier, our account has not been verified because this is a dummy account. But once you upload all the documents needed, it will pretty much be verified within a few hours and you will receive an email from IC Market which will have your login and password and it will look exactly like the one you see on my screen. In our case, I open a, a demo account to demonstrate how the email will look like. This is a demo account, but the real account will be exactly the same, will have exactly the same information. As you can see on my mail with the credentials, the demo account arrived. It has both login and password. Let's use them to log in. Copy and paste them and click OK. You will be in it within a few seconds. There you have it. Our demo account is up and running. If you wish to open an additional account on MT5 or any other platform, you will need to head to your dashboard and click an account and then open a new account. Within a few minutes, you will receive an email with your new credentials, assuming that you have verified your profile. You're now done. If you follow the steps we went through, your account will be verified with ours and you shall receive your login to the platform you have chosen. All it remains for you is to trade. Thank you for watching our tutorial. We really hope that it helped you to create the right type of account for you. If it did, please leave a comment, like, and of course, subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure you turn on notifications as we have new videos coming and you don't want to miss them since the videos will expand from broker reviews and tutorials to indicators and strategies.